Well, labor is the most valuable thing that you sell. So labor is always the thing that I want to see. And I'd love to see the labor at a little bit higher than the part. I don't want you to stop selling parts, okay? Because at a 50, 50, 55% margin, it's got great profit in it too. But the mark of a great shop is when you see that their labor is always at the top end and they're always covering their costs of their technicians and, and making money on their labor. So this is part of an of a overall picture that with a great operating system, you're able to see the parts margin, the parts to labor ratio, the repair order size, the labor margin. You're able to see that before you call the customer. And I encourage you to look at your metrics before you call the customer, because that makes such a difference. And especially with a new advisor that just started recently, when you sit down and you look at these numbers before they call the customer, and you start to maybe do that simple little modification on it so that you get the numbers right before you call the customer. You can also have a chance to maybe role play the, the job with the advisor and help them to go through it. One of the things I hear all the time when I, as I listen to advisors call is they shoot themselves off the foot as soon as they get on the call. And how do they shoot themselves on the foot? They say things like, um, I'm gonna give you a big estimate and you don't need to do it all. <laughs> well, quite frankly, it's not your choice, okay? The client is deserving of really understanding what needs to be done on their vehicle. And it's their choice to determine what gets done. So keep your mouth shut, give advice. I'm not saying you don't give advice to help the client make the decision, but it's not your choice whether this repair gets done. Because remember, it's so much cheaper to fix a vehicle than it is to replace a vehicle.